nice. Looking great. Good plastic to me. directions I've done so many of these roll cages none of them had directions what is this what is this what is it I guess they're not directions anymore holy shit it is directions that is so cool well I give you a blow up Very cool, man. Very cool. All right, so very. This is better than nothing. Better than nothing. Okay, so I took the hardware and lined them all up here. All right, put the sizes together. Here's all the hardware here. Tells you one piece, four pieces, 20 pieces. You gotta look up over here. All right, it's the only one like this. Make sure you put this, the roof part with, with these holes facing up, because this is where your, the roof of your, uh, the whole, this is where this is gonna mount to. Okay, so make sure it's facing up. All right, grab your drill, do what you gotta do. Get the job done, all right? Keep an eye out on the plastics. You're gonna see an R on the left, on a, and a L. L is for left, R is for right. And just use common sense. Okay, so here's what I'm up to so far. Okay, I got everything uh, starting to take place, take shape. All right, so my main thing is now, I wanna start tying this up. Obviously, when you look at those, here, yeah, here's the right side. Look at it. Take a look. Common sense says that shit needs a lock nut, don't it? <laughs> so, if you don't have one, get one. Find one that works there and make sure it's, it works with the thread. All right, so the one that comes with the mud flaps do work. And check it out. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. And let me just tell you something, man. I freaking love this drill. This has to be... My favorite RC tool, right, as of now. It's been great. So, check this out. We're getting there, see that? Once you start getting to see this come together, you'll be done in no time. That's what I'm trying to say. So try to line all this crap up, and that will help you out. That'll help some people not get frustrated as much. The clutch that I'm using is five. Seems to be working fine. See that? That's how the clutch feels and sounds like with this uh, Milwaukee drill. Very nice. All right. I had to put it in first gear. <laughs> I had to put it in first gear and that's on bitch right there. All right, so uh, since we're here, we already know what's gonna go here, common sense. I'm not gonna even look at the paper for that. It's definitely gonna be one of these guys. So I'm just gonna get this this guy out of the way right now. It's starting to take shape, buddy. Yeah, it's starting to take shape. This thing is starting to feel pretty damn good. It's still lightweight. It's still lightweight. But let's see how strong it is. I mean, she flexes pretty good. She flexes very well. So, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens once we start bashing this son of a bitch right here. Now, I called up Ray from Track Day Hobbies. All right, that's a local hobby store of mine. I'm very lucky to have. 
All right, I do have another hobby store that's even closer to me, but they they just carry um, they no longer carry real stuff, only you know fake stuff. And I don't I don't I wouldn't be in this hobby if if I, if if it was all fake stuff out there. You know, I'm more into the the real stuff. You know, engines, nitro motors. Uh, you guys know me already. If you're new, that's what I'm all about, bro. If it ain't if it ain't got no brap brap. There's no sense of me being in here. See that? This brap and brap. All right, let's see if we can do that faster. Brap, brap. No, I can't do it faster, but you guys get the point. All right, and um, so I'll go to track the hobbies since he has good goodies in that some in that in that hobby store, and um, he has some body panel uh, hardware coming to me I do not have any I'm gonna go double check upstairs but for now I do not have the hardware to secure your body panel so I'm just gonna remove it off my x2 here my uh, body panel that's on my low c5t all right this body here you get this clear body with roll cage with your roller uh, deluxe x2 that's how you get it. It comes with it already. All right, so I'm just going to take the this hardware off of it. See this? I'm going to take this off, that off. Any questions? I also have the 30 degree north body. I, really, I want to put a wing on it. All right, I, I, I used to like seeing this body without the wing, but I really like the wing. My buddy Alfred has one with the wing, and it's badass. And uh, a bunch of my subscribers, uh, a bunch of my uh, gas brothers also rock the wing in the back all right if you uh if you guys got a part number of it send it over to me i'd like to uh pick up a wing for it i have a bunch of other wings that i've got but it's for the baja platform and also the um, dragster but i'm gonna wind up putting this guy on here just grab this up it's a mud flap grab this face this up upwards like that just like that use the little hardware that was left over Pop her, pop her on over here and, and these two, just like this. Okay, this one's already done. Okay. Not now, but I may, I got the Bartolone cage panels here for the cage. That uh, helps out tremendously. I highly recommend it. Well, part number is SM224. And that helps it prevents a lot of garbage and debris to get in there. All right, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to... Let me just get this body on here. Even though Tom says this is my bash body, I don't know, man. I really like it. And I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I may just do my 30 degree north or I'll do another roll cage. And put the clear body panels on that I have left. And do a wrap kit. Because I also do have a wrap kit from... Just signs and designs. So let's see, we got a bunch of options here. I'm just, I'm very happy how this turned out. So I'm kind of afraid to mess it up, even though Tom wants me to bash it. And here we go. First time that it's mounted on, on this. Yeah, man, I'm getting excited. Can't wait to hear it breathe. Start drinking some fuel and farting. Can't wait. This is, uh... Yeah, man, she was born here. That's that's the truth. Okay, so next thing I want to do is install the Axis Cage Keepers. Part number AX3018. Team Chase also has them. Uh, a bunch of people have them. You can also make these. The, the Axis seems to be pretty heavy-duty versions of it, from the pins to the cable. Uh, I forget what grade cable, something with their cable. They were, uh, the wire they used, the metal quality, so. Okay, so this should be a quickie job, easy. All right, they give you four screws here that you could just screw right into your plastics. It's so let me cage. show you guys how I mounted this. All right, I mounted it I, differently. I, I changed it. All right, um, I originally had this mounted up here a little while ago. I, I took it out, it just made sense. I didn't like mounting this 
over here. All right, you can if you want, but then this wire will be permanently mounted onto your roll cage, onto your body. All right, I don't, I'm not sure I want that too much. All right, maybe if this was the only body I had, fine, but I have a bunch of bodies. I mean, like this, this RC here is going to be like for me to try things out, try different engines, have fun, go brap, go do whatever with this, right? So I'm going to go through bodies like crazy. You know, I'm going to go through my, I'm going to use my 30 degrees north body, depending on how I'm going to bash that day. You know, I, I'm probably going to run my beautiful artwork body from Pit Dog Hydro as well. I may run a, a, a body with a wrap kit on it. You know, I'm going to be, this is my, uh, I'm going to be using it. You know, I'm going to be really using this one and changing stuff around and so why not mount this to the car to you know so i mounted the front this is what i did i i've done this also to my low c5 t years ago seven years ago with the team chase ones all right let me show you just give you a little uh, uh, example there see that that's been there forget it man since when i used to race all right that's been there so, over here, this is how I got this, these axis ones. All right, I got it mounted like that. If it's, if it's a little bit longer than my t Team Chase ones. I'll just, ah. Anyway, if I have to, you can always remove this, go around. If it's too long, if, if you think that's gonna be on your way, I think I should be fine the way it is. But if you have to, you can always do that. Wrap around. And then boom, go in. Understand? Right, so that's how I did the front. All right, so I did the front. And now let me show you what I did to the back. Like I was saying, now I didn't. I removed it from here. Re, re screw these. I screwed it over here to the bumper. All right, because now I could remove this body. And. These uh, hooks, these body clips, will always be on the car, with the car. Yeah, so I mounted over here to this uh, rear uh, bumper part here. And I went from this side to the left. And from the left to the right, you understand? I cr crisscrossed them. All right, so here, here we go. We got my low C5T off the big shelf over there. And on my... Uh, Yukon workbench, toolbox, slash whatever the hell you want to call this, um, for the first time. And just a close up here. Here's the, the X2 body shape, which I like. It's got a cowl hood. I like the, the cowl hood scoop. It's really cool. And I've always been a cowl hood type of guy. You know, when I used to street race, when I had my Camaro, right, even my Corvette, I busted a hole right in the hood and uh, threw a snorkel scoop. You know, I like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Low C5T stock hood is also very cool. And the LT, which is going to be coming here. But for now, we're going to remove this body. I'm going to reuse these. And then when I get a chance, I, I'll go to track the hobbies and pick up some more body uh, clips. Right. Okay, a couple things I want to bring up right now. Uh, another thing, just to give you a heads up, the X2 body is way thicker, way thicker than this LT body, okay? I think, I don't know, some people like thick body, some people like thin, I don't know, if it, if it is going to be thick, I hope it's good quality. Um, from what I hear, the same makers of the 30 degrees north or the guys that make the X2 bodies. All right, so they're so a little bit thicker than the average body, but um, um, this, the thin, I think thin would probably be better if it's good thin be, because thin is more flexible. So, you know, if you crash, it'll flex and go back to normal, you know? So with a thicker body, if you crash, you could crack it, that's, that's, uh, you know, with the eight scale bodies, you don't want to go with the thick bodies because they'll crack. Uh, trust me, I've been through hundreds of bodies. 
you know, the thin ones seem to last the longest, you know, because they, it'll, it'll crash, it'll flex and go back to normal. But anyway, when you guys do put the body on, don't forget to get the hardware for underneath the body. All right, so I'm taking the hardware, just like the Losi 5T and the 30 degrees north body and all that. And this is an X2 roller cage and body clips. I'm taking the hardware off this. We're putting it on this new roller cage. All right, so um, another thing what I've noticed is, see how you have these indents, these molded indents with the X2 body? Well, the Losi 5T body has that as well. All right, the LT body, which is identical to the Losi 5T body, does not have that. It's flush. All right, I'm not complaining. I got this uh, body panels really reasonable. All right, so, you know, I could have like, that's why I got two of them. You know, if I wasn't bringing home more cars, I would have brought three bodies, you know, just to have, but um, to have as backups. You know, one thing I want to bring up is you got two different types of hardware. These are longer than these, the short ones go you got two short ones that go up front and then the rest of the short ones are going to go to your quarter panel all right to the rear fenders okay that's where they will be used at okay i just wanted to bring that up and don't forget to pop these guys on i'm gonna put my rear quarter panels on now all right you gotta put these on here like i said don't forget look at that all right, you gotta put another one right here. See, this one's here already. All right, gotta put another one here. I'm gonna put these two on first, then I'm gonna put the roof on over everything. So it's gonna sandwich this part in, understand? It's gonna go over this guy and over this guy. All right, so that's what's gonna happen. And let's see, let's see how she looks, man. I can't wait to polish her right, up. Let's look at my stock Losi 5T body. See how the plastic is indented? All right, even on my 30 degree north body. Here's the LT body, it's flush. It's flush. All right, just to give you that, uh, just to let you guys know. It seems thin, but I think thin will be good because it's more flexible, guys, remember that. All right, hopefully if it's, if it's decent plastic, if it's, if it's not good plastic, then we're screwed, and uh, it'll crack even easier. But um, in my past, bashing my eight scales, and I've never had problems with my five T plastics. As you can see, they're original. But um, on my past plastics, uh, the thick ones would give me the most headaches and crack the, the easiest. But the thin ones, if you're grinding it, if you crash on the concrete floor or cement. They're the ones that wear out faster. So either way, what are you gonna do? It's meant to, uh, it's a body, so. So, but it, even though, don't get worried about, yes, if you pick these up for a good price, don't get worried about this being f flush, all right? Because it will work. Next two body work. has it. What we got, special guest? <laughs> <laughs> I thought of you, man. What's going on, brother? <laughs> Look at that shit. What the hell? Awesome, bro. <laughs> Amazing, bro. Cool, what do you think? Awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm about to po polish her up. Hey, you got the. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm going to finish this up and, and throw a coat of wax real quick. Let me bang this out real quick. All right. Over here in the garage right now, my buddy Carlos just left. Yeah, here's my, over here looking, I'm looking for some cling, I ran out, here we go. Yeah, anyway, I know I had a case of it. Gotta get a case of this shit, cause I don't come across it much in the stores. This, I love this man for the, for my truck, for, uh, for my RC bodies. That's what I use this most of the time for. All right, here we are. Got all the plastics on. Now I'm gonna shine her up. 
Um, I do want to explain how this body went on. It did not go on well. So give me a few seconds. Let me just polish her up. Right. Okay. Okay. After you got her on there a little bit. Switch it around. And buff her out. Wait a little bit. I'm gonna wait a bit. Okay, now buff her up real good. Keep changing. Buffer up. Buffer up. Oh yeah. Alright. Okay. Buffing her up. I may do two two of these coats. Alright guys, check this zah out. Super beautiful man. Super effing beautiful man. Tom, thanks again for the great job you did, bro. I'm very happy with the job you did for me. The only thing that I'm not kind of happy right now about is this body. All right, this body, uh, it did not fit like a glove. I really had to work at it. I don't know if the, the reason why the X2 and the Losi 5T has these steps how it's raised right this look at it. this will raise the body you understand and let me tell you something I needed that extra half quarter inch half inch whatever that is lifted this is like just flat look at this closely guys yes and I did put the spacers as you can see look at this this is ready to pop out the screw the hardware here see this one here it's right on there yes I do have the spacer that that belongs here on over there but it's on there man this is going to rub the paint off with time I wound up putting some electrical tape around that made it a little bit thicker just so that uh that screw head won't rub this paint job that I got this hydro dipping job that I got so it lasts a little bit long but you can consider that goodbye um, that's not going to last much long and hopefully it won't grind itself through the plastic. If it does, it does. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. It's worth a, it was worth a try. Another thing is this is way thin, way thin. Again, I don't know if that's good or bad. If it, if it'll, you know, I don't know because of it, uh, of it being thin, it'll flex better. We will see. If it does flex better, um, I will be super happy with it and I will live with this. And I may even get another in the future. But uh, from what I'm seeing right now, I don't know if I'll get another LT body kit. I would rather get the X2 body kit or definitely, definitely a low C5T uh, body kit. Why? Because that son of a bitch right there is eight years old and it's in better shape. Feels better still today than this new one does okay uh let me bring you over okay here you go this is look at this still like perfect I, I kid you not and it's been through a lot all right tires rubbing over there crashes all right i did those stupid light kits but that i no longer use anyway that that body fits like a glove like a glove Nice, perfect. Didn't have to stretch or freaking stress out the, the, the roll cage to force the body on like I had to do this one. I kid you not, man. I had to put these on first and force it, man. I had My wife even helped out. My friend Paul left a little while ago. Um, I had to like hold down the freaking pins, stretch the damn plastic, and then fold it. Fold her over into this side. Do one at a time. It was a real bitch. I, I kid you not. Then the last ones I did was up here. And I had to like force it. I had to put pressure here. Pull this in. 
and I had to like force the son of a bitch back so I can grab the holes. It was just, it doesn't feel like a glove at all. But I do have it on there. I did get her on there. Yeah, she looks amazing, thanks to uh, Tom again, but uh, something like this, artwork like this, even though Tom told me this is a bash job that he did, I really like the way it came out. I really wish that this beautiful job was on a, a Losi 5T body, 100%, or even in this X2 body. I really, even this guy here, that X2 body is, feels awesome. I, I'm not gonna lie, feels great. You can even hear the difference. You can hear the difference. All right, come over here, let's see this one. Look at that. Look at that. There's a bow in there. Look at that. Nah. So, that's the only thing that I'm kind of upset with, with myself, you know. Maybe this, yes, it's a great price. All right. Even the X2 is a great price, but the X2 one is a way better body than this from what I'm seeing so far. All right. Let's see how this thing does when we bash it. But... I think this body will be fine if you guys use this for wrap kits, all right, for wraps, which we will be doing soon. And, you know, if you're not worried about this, like if you wrap it, this will last a little bit longer. Even if this grinds itself through, you still have that wrap sticker on the outside, you know. So instead of you getting a very expensive body like that and wrapping it, you're going to want to do a better a paint job or a custom job. Uh, like this that's what I would spend my money on one of those bodies for you know or even the X2 <clears throat> but yeah so I just had to bring this up this by no means fit like a glove I really had to stretch it out even Dan told me about it at, at uh, Rovin at King Motor he told me. He was completely honest with it. I told him, I'm not worried about it. I'll, I'll force it in. But I, I wasn't aware of this, and now I know better what he was trying to t tell me, talk to me about. See, I'm just, if I would have known it was going to be like this, I would have never sent this body out to Pit Dog Hydro. Never. Because, look at this. This is, soon, is going to come out. Soon, it's going to make a hole on its way out here, yeah. you know? So, I would have definitely sent my X2 body out to Pit Dog, or I would have bought a, a, a new low C5T body. All right, so, live and learn, that's it. All right, I'm still happy with this job. Very nice. Super nice. <laughs> All right, so. Let me continue working on this guy. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna have myself some dinner. And the next job is gonna be putting the panels and electronics so we can get to this engine. All right. Tomorrow I'm going to do a second coat. Just a close up. Just want to show you guys. Tom's work. Very cool. All right, guys. 